Hello, parents, educators, child caregivers or grandparents. Welcome to my channel. This is Aishan. I'm an early childhood educator and I've been around children for almost 10 years. I'm here to show you interesting, fun and creative educational games or activities that you can do with your little ones. So you can turn your free time into educational, purposeful and quality time with your kids. Today, I'm going to show you nine different ways to teach numbers to your toddlers and preschoolers. Yes, numbers. Early math exposure for children is crucial for later math success. You may think learning how to recite numbers doesn't get kids very far. However, learning math at an early age will lay the groundwork for future problem solving or logical thought. Plus, it gives your child to have a positive experience in math, which will later in life lead to a great self-confidence in math. All right, let's start to the fun part. Today, I'm going to show you a different activity for each number. So you will have nine different activities to try at home. For the hidden numbers activity, you're going to need a white crayon, white paper, and watercolors. It's simple, but it's so much fun. Kids love this activity. The parents or educators will draw the number that they want to show their kids on the white paper. It's so hard to see the white crayon on the white paper, so kids are not gonna know it's there. I will draw number one with white crayon on the paper, then we can do the next part of this activity. So let's start. All right, I'm done with number one. It's hard to see it right now. The fun part starts right now. Your child will discover what's this number when he or she goes over with watercolor. And they love that part. All right, here is my number one. You can see the number one plus it makes such a beautiful art piece. One very effective activity that you can do using the cards that you already have at home is drawing the number for your child and let the child write the card on the number. I'm going to write number two for my student. Now I'm going to ask the child to write the card on the number as many times as she or he wants. This activity is a very good one for kids to use their entire arm motion. All right, the activity for number three is going to include some glue, pasta pieces, pen, and paper. For this activity, I'm going to write the number on the paper and I will ask the child to glue pasta pieces on the number until he or she covers the entire number with pasta pieces. Okay, let's start. This activity is very good for kids to use their fine motor skills. Especially young children need to use their fingers and this gives them a lot of fine motor activity. All right, parents, here is our number three with the pasta activity. The reason I love this activity because it's not only teaching your child the numbers or the letters, whatever you are teaching them, but also it's important for kids to use their fine motor skills daily basis so they can develop those muscles. The activity for number four is a lot of fun and do not be surprised if your child asks you to write all the numbers this way. Because 
It includes water gun. Yes, we're going to use a water gun for a number activity. I already have some water in the gun and I'm going to add some food coloring so the color can be seen on the paper. I'm going to draw the number four and I'm going to ask the child to color number four with water gun. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, I finished writing the number four. Now I'm going to pick a food color and I'll add some food color into my water gun. I'm gonna add a lot because I really want the color to be seen. This is also a great outside activity. You can draw the letter with the chalk outside on the ground and you can ask the child to color the number with the water gun. Let's start! <laughs> yes, this is a messy activity but kids love it. So I recommend you to do it on the floor or do it outside. All right, let's do the activity for number five. For number five, we're gonna need some tissue paper, some glue, and again, paper and pen. So the child caregiver is going to write the number on the paper and ask the child to glue a piece of tissue paper on the number. Let's start. Here's my number five. So the child needs to tear up the pieces and then after the child teared up the pieces, it's good for them to bring that tissue paper into a little bowl like this. All right, I'm done with number five. Please do not forget that your child's number may not look as pretty or neat as this and it's all right. Our purpose here to introduce the child the number so they can recognize the number when they see that. All right, number six. For number six, we're going to need a doll, which you will probably have one at home, especially you have a girl. For this activity, I'm going to write the number six on the paper and I'm going to ask the child to leave some footsteps on the number. In order to do that, the child needs to use the doll as a brush. So let's see. I'm going to draw number six. Here's my number six. Now I'm going to ask the child to dip the feet into their favorite color on the watercolor and then walk on the number. So let's leave some footsteps. All right, parents, this is the footsteps of the favorite doll of your child on the number six. All right, how could I leave the Legos out of this activity? Of course, everyone has Legos at home and Legos are also great tools for kids to learn the numbers or letters. For this activity, obviously, we're going to need some Legos, paper and pen. I'm going to draw number seven and ask the child to build the Legos around the number seven. Also, my students love this activity, especially the ones who are obsessed with Legos. I love doing this, so let's do, try to do number seven. All right, this is number seven in my Lego world. I am sure your child will be way more creative than I am. Okay, a ping pong ball and a straw. This is so much fun. I just wanted to show you this game without even explaining anything. Your kids will love this. Let's do it. So I will write number eight. And this is a challenge. Ask the child to blow the ball around the line. I told you this is not easy, but kids love it. Every time I do this with my students, 
they keep playing and playing. And again, the purpose for the child to be able to recognize the number. So you can let your child to have as much fun as they can. All right, the last but not the least activity of the day. I'm sure you're all familiar with your kids wanting to collect leaves on your nature walks or on your daily walk around the street. This is another math activity, but also it's a beautiful art project. It always turns out something unique and authentic. Let's start. So I write number nine on the paper and ask the child to glue the leaves the way she or he wants it on the number. All right, another beautiful and artistic way to teach your child numbers. I showed you nine different ways for each number. However, every child has a different learning style or different interests. But if your child is interested in one activity more than others, please have him to be exposed to that one activity from number one to nine. Thank you everyone for being in my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to subscribe in Kids for future videos. Also, I would love to get some videos or pictures from you guys if you end up trying one of these activities at home. Goodbye until I see you next time.